You can check free MD-102 Endpoint Administrator exam questions for reference. 1. You have a Microsoft 365E5 subscription that contains 1000 Windows 11 devices. All the devices are enrolled in Microsoft Intune. You plan to integrate Intune with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You need to establish a service-to-service -service connection between Intune and Defender for Endpoint. Which settings should you configure in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center? A. Connectors and Tokens B. Premium Add-ons C. Microsoft Tunnel Gateway D. Tenant Enrollment Answer. A. 2. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription that uses Microsoft Intune Suite. You use Microsoft Intune to manage devices. You use Windows Autopilot to deploy Windows 11 to devices. A support engineer reports that when a deployment fails, they cannot collect deployment logs from failed device. You need to ensure that when a deployment fails, the deployment logs can be collected. What should you configure? A. The automatic enrollment settings. B. The Windows Autopilot deployment profile. C. The enrollment status page. Especially, profile. D. The device configuration profile. Answer. B. 3. You have a Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, MDT, deployment share named DS1. In the out-of-box drivers node, you create folders that contain drivers for different hardware models. You need to configure the inject driver's MDT task to use PNP detection to install the drivers for one of the hardware models. What should you do first? A. Import an OS package. B. Create a selection profile. C. Add a gather task to the task sequence. D. Add a validate task to the task sequence. Answer. B. 4. You have an on-premises server named server that hosts a Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, MDT, deployment share named MDT1. You need to ensure that MDT1 supports multicast deployments. What should you install on Server 1? A Multipath I.O., MPIO. B Multipoint Connector. C Windows Deployment Services, WDS. D. Windows Server Update Services, WSUS. Answer, C. 5. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription that uses Microsoft Intune Suite. You use Microsoft Intune to manage devices. You need to review the startup times and restart frequencies of the devices. What should you use? A. Azure Monitor B. Intune Data Warehouse C. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint D. Endpoint Analytics Answer. D. 6. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription that contains 500 macOS devices enrolled in Microsoft Intune. You need to ensure that you can apply Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Antivirus policies to the macOS devices. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you do? A. From the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, create a configuration profile. B. 
from the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, create a security baseline. C. Onboard the Mac OS devices to the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. D. Install Defender for Endpoint on the Mac OS devices. Answer. D. 7. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. The subscription contains 25 computers that run Windows 11 and are enrolled in Microsoft Intune. You need to onboard the devices to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. What should you create in the Microsoft Intune Admin Center? A. An Attack Surface Reduction, OSER, Policy. B. A Security Baseline. C. An Endpoint Detection and Response, EDR, Policy. D. An Account Protection Policy. E. An Antivirus Policy. Answer. C. 8. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription and 25 Apple iPads. You need to enroll the iPads in Microsoft Intune by using the Apple Configurator enrollment method. What should you do first? A. Upload a file that has the device identifiers for each iPad. B. Modify the enrollment restrictions. C. Configure an Apple MDM push certificate. D. Add your user account as a device enrollment manager, DEM. Answer. C. 9. Your network contains an Active Directory domain. The domain contains a user named Admin1. All computers run Windows 10. You enable Windows PowerShell remoting on the computers. You need to ensure that Admin1 can establish remote PowerShell connections to the computers. The solution must use the principle of least privilege. To which group should you add Admin1? A. Access Control Assistance Operators B. Remote Desktop Users C. Power Users D. Remote Management Users Answer. B. 10. You have a Microsoft 365 subscription that uses Microsoft Intune Suite. You use Microsoft Intune to manage devices. You use Windows Autopilot to deploy Windows 11 to devices. A support engineer reports that when a deployment fails, they cannot collect deployment logs from failed device. You need to ensure that when a deployment fails, the deployment logs can be collected. What should you configure? A. The automatic enrollment settings. B. The Windows Autopilot deployment profile. C. The enrollment status page. Especially, profile. D. The device configuration profile. Answer. B.